all reflexes, primitive reflexes, they live in the brain stem. So all primitive reflexes are here. So STNR, Babinski, Palmer, Grasp. As we develop and as we start to get frontal lobe function, this frontal lobe comes down and it says, hey, I don't need that reflex anymore. So that, that's called reflex inhibition. Wow, this look like a so inhibition of reflexes is really done by the frontal lobe. This, the frontal lobe is where we motor plan. This is where we gain motor control. So as we develop and this frontal lobe develops, the frontal lobe says, hey, I don't need that reflex. I've got control of this. I don't, I don't need that involuntary movement. I, I know what I'm doing. I've got this. And so when, when reflexes are still present, that says, hey, the frontal lobe is not inhibiting. And so our, our goal is to get this frontal lobe to the point where it does in, inhibit. And so a lot of people are doing reflex integration where they're doing different movement patterns, different activities, and those are great. We're working reflexes from a bottom up stimuli, and that's, that's integration, motor planning, different activities, Excuse different sensory work. Lord. Yes. I'm, I'm listening. Yes, I Position feels good. It looks like it feels really good. So we're working reflexes from an integration perspective, but then also inhibition. So we're also directly using inhibition. cortical acti nice activation, okay. photobiomodulation, nice. lasers over nice. key areas of the brain. So a, a Babinski, we're gonna laser right here. This is where we perceive and control the legs. We're gonna laser the brain stem, yeah. the spinal cord, all these checkpoints involved in motor control, awareness, muscle tone. Um, and so when we're stimulating the brain, we're always supporting the brain from the top down.